There is no better way to earn money than to do the things that you love to do. You can take responsibility for all the conditions that surround you. None of your business. Mm, that's true. Sure makes life easier. <laughs> when, when the conditions that surround you are not your job, other than they, they provide the buffet for your choices. Mm. But if you make your choices from the emotional place first, we cut you off purposefully. And we'll come back around to that. But there, there is an important distinction that we want to make here. And that is when, when, when you're, let, let's say you have really taken to heart what we've talked about here. So you've focused upon some emotions that feel good to you. Mm -hmm. Unconditional, like you say, but you really mean unconditional. So you are feeling appreciation and love and you've fostered it and it's easy and it's easy to go there and you feel it not just about your partner, but about a lot of other things and other people. You're just consistently there. So you are pretty wobble free because you mean to be. You get up in the morning and you realize that your momentum stopped while you slept and then you just focus generally on things that feel good. So you maintain it for a little while and then law of attraction is responding to your pure vibration. So as law of attraction responds to your pure vibration, what happens is it becomes more detailed, but it remains pure. Now, what we mean by that is if you start out thinking about how you, that you want to feel good, but you realize you don't, now you're thinking about feeling good and not feeling good. So at the very beginning of this point of attraction, you got a little wobble going. Mm -hmm. I want to feel good, but I, I want to feel good, but I don't feel so good. Well, once these two points of attraction get going, there's the one that source is fostering and there's the one that your belief system is fostering. Mm -hmm. So now law of attraction is causing both trains of thought to get more detailed. Mm -hmm. So the wobble gets bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger. What you want comes into clearer focus, but the absence of it also comes in clearer focus. The things you like about your partner come into clearer focus. The things you don't like about your partner come into clearer focus. So there is this gap between who you really are and what you really want and what your practice thought is. And we're calling that the wobble. Mm -hmm. So the more you allow momentum to occur untended to, which is what we've been calling creation by default for a long time, just responding to conditions. Someone says something complimentary to you. You feel good about it. Someone says something derogatory to you. You feel bad about it. So you got these two vibrations going on and you feel no control about it because the momentum has is, is carrying you away. Our, the story we always insert car on top of a hill in San Francisco. You've been there. It's amazing. Take it out of gear, take the parking brake off just to see what happens. Bump it a little from behind to give yourself a lesson in momentum. <laughs> but then before it goes down the hill and into the bay, you come to your senses, you step out in front of it and you let it bump up against you and you stop the momentum early on. When you stop the momentum early on, when there's not much wobble, it's easier. If you're not aware and you let the wobble get bigger and bigger and bigger now, Oh, now you're reading books on relationships and you're trying to figure out what's appropriate. And is it even appropriate to even be gay to begin with, for God's sake? There's <laughs> got to be a lot of books on that subject. And, and, and then there's all those intolerant people around the world. And there's books about all of that. And then there's, oh, should we get married? Should we live somewhere where we can? Is there a financial benefit to it? What do people think about it? I wonder what the... And, pretty soon you're just off in the weeds in all of this detail that you can't control that just and you just spend all your time putting out brush fires trying to control those details when if you would tend to your wobble early on you would find an increase of momentum in the thought without contradiction and then you would experience what we've been talking about for years which is the leverage of alignment what it feels like to have source flowing through you you see mm -hmm. Right. And the thing about partnership, the thing about having somebody that you really care about, the biggest disadvantage that you give to yourself and to that person 
is that you try to harmonize with them instead of with the source within you. Mm -hmm. You let what they think and the way they behave distract you from your ability to find perfect alignment with who you are. And then you don't even begin to extract from them all of the power and wonderful experience that you could extract, extract from them if you were allowing law of attraction to be singular and without wobble within you. Right. Does that make sense to you? Yeah. So, yeah. So, so just focusing on the source within me and being in alignment is all I should be really but you, worrying but, about. But you have to do it early on. In other words, right. it's, it, when, when the person said, how do I get rid of doubt? And we said, you do it before it starts. That is an answer that is really annoying because once the momentum is there, then what? And we say, tomorrow's a new day. Just start tomorrow in a fresher place mm, and go right. as far as you can go without wobbling. And then tomorrow, do it again. And then tomorrow, do it again. And then tomorrow, do it again. And so before you know it, you will be mostly wobble free. And there will be things that will come up because right. you've got, you've got trajectories on different things. But once you show yourself how easy it is to obtain vibrational stability and then what happens to your point of attraction once you achieve vibrational stability you'll never go back to creating by default again you will stop being sloppy in your thinking because sloppy thinking creates big time wobbles and then you spend so much time out there in the weeds Esther thought the other day she was discussing with someone that she really cares about the art of parenting and there are so many philosophies that Esther just wanted to run away <laughs> because you just can't get there from there. You, if you are on a high flying disc and somebody is in the middle of a problem and you're trying to come to an agreement about it, you, you can't do it. Your frequencies are too, too mm -hmm. far apart. You just have to say, you're probably right let me know how that works out and then, just, and then just run as far as you can where you can find your own alignment don't try to convince anybody of anything this debating over conditions and the rightness and the wrongness of things is such a waste of your life experience it never accomplishes anything except well it does accomplish it causes you to launch more rockets causes you it causes you to expand but it doesn't help you in the keeping up with the expansion that you've accomplished okay. so now good basis here where are you about this well I, I feel good about it I feel um, you know I, I feel comfortable I know that everything's gonna be fine So, what was the question that you wanted to ask before we interrupted you incessantly it's uh, <laughs> um, it was it was what um, it was that I just, I want to, I Wait, want him Sutter, to, he can't even find it. So I'm so, I know, right? Because, um, because it's, because it's changed just with it's the conversation. Totally, yeah. So, but a condition has happened and you've found it again. And so speak it here. What is it that you need him <laughs> to do differently? I just want him to be happy. Oh, and that's a condition you can't yeah. control. So I guess, I guess, I guess I, that's a condition yeah. that you can't control. Isn't that interesting? Yeah. I want you to be happy. <laughs> because when you're happy then I'm happy but, <laughs> which means now I got to control whatever it is that's making you unhappy or resent you for not yeah. just finding it more easily but, <laughs> what you got you got to be happy anyway but I'm, which, I am happy I mean I'm happy and um, we mean consistently happy yeah. even when someone you love isn't happy even when somebody you love isn't happy. So how can you be happy? See, here's the rub, isn't it? Because you have trained yourself to believe. So you're happy and they're not. Now, there's a sort of vibrational impasse. If you can remain in alignment with source flowing through you, your power of influence is such that the other will gravitate to your happiness. But you usually don't hang in there long enough mm. to let that happen. Right. Because <laughs> in your happiness, you are crazy. In your happiness, you think that you'll just dip down to the unhappy place that they are and you'll rescue them. <laughs> but you never do. Mm -hmm. Because when you dip down to that unhappy place, instead you feel resentment because you were happy a minute ago before they did that. <laughs> or a little bit of blame mm -hmm. or responsibility mm -hmm. or something that you can't control where 
So, so, but it, it's tricky to, we're just gonna put this out to you and, and feel, feel where you are with this. So you're flying high for whatever reason. You've been practicing it for a few days. You've been writing the emotional words that feel good to you. You've steadied yourself and you know it. And, and improvement is showing itself and you're starting to feel pretty frisky and empowered. And then you rendezvous with someone who you have an appointment with or, or you're married to or, or you work with or you're assigned to them in some way. And they are clearly in a different vibrational place. They're not feeling good. That you're on a high flying disc, they're on a low flying disc and you care about them. You really care about them. So they present to you their situation and in fact, they are even annoyed that you are so darn happy because <laughs> your happiness just reminds them of, of what's missing in their experience. And so they really need you to come and relate to them because that would close their gap. If they could get you to be a little miserable, <laughs> they think they would feel better they don't feel better it just get, it just gets it just causes more but and 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 you often go because you're focused there so but what if you were so practiced in your vibration of alignment and you were feeling so good that you didn't go that you didn't go that you demonstrate to them in the same way that your inner being demonstrates to you that you if, if they're going to play with you, they got to come to where you are. And once you establish that within yourself and really mean it, because you see, you've got two things going for you here, two really big things. One, your partner really wants to be happy. And two, partner really wants to be where you are. If you give in and go to where your partner is without holding yourself to the place where you know that your partner wants to be, can you, can you feel the disservice that you do to anyone mm -hmm. by giving them what they think they want by giving up your alignment and going to a lower vibration because if you are not tuned in tapped in turned on you don't have anything to give them anyway when you're in alignment you're clear-minded you're solution oriented when you're not in alignment then you're just part of the problem just like it just like they are part of the problem and and you can move around in that for a long time so what you want to demonstrate to the people that you love is, is this I care about the way I feel and I care about you and I care so much about the way I feel and I care so much about you that I'm going to make sure that I feel good unconditionally and at first that's going to feel to you like I am not giving you the attention that you want from me but the reason that I'm not giving you the attention that you right now think that you want from me is because I would have to change vibrational frequency so severely in order to do that and then I will resent you I promise <laughs> I will blame you for the dip in my vibration. Isn't it nice to know that you're doing it all to you? Mm -hmm. You're giving other people the credit for it. You are a condition that is so compelling that now I'm giving my attention to this compelling condition, which is you. I'm not in the place that I wanted to be. And it's because of the compelling condition that is you. So you need to be different so that I can feel better. That right there is the basis of the destruction of every relationship. I'm holding you responsible for how I feel when nothing that you can do and sustain for any length of time is going to establish me with what I really want because in doing so I'm looking for love in all the wrong places. I'm holding you responsible for something that you cannot possibly be responsible for. So what you want to say in your marriage vows or your partnership vows or whatever your vows are to anyone that you're interacting with 